Hey, what's up fellas? Just want to give you a quick update of how I'm coming along with this cell or this hydrogen torch. I got this thing running. I'm going to stop construction until I get some more money. But uh, it's going to work for now. I'm going to be able to get back to some of the builds I had going with the uh, waste oil burner guys and the uh, DIY steam cleaner conversations I've been having. I got this thing running right now at 11 amps. This has a uh, forced electrolyte flow setup. Radiator ripped out of an air conditioner. You've got to have a radiator on one of these. You can't do without. The tip that we see here is a special tip that I've I've made out of a spud off a stove. And the purpose of this tip is to um, diffuse the flame. If I didn't have this tip on here, this flame would be two feet long. It would be a really long thin needle, and that's very hard to work with and not very practical at all. Especially seeing as how the a lot of the flames invisible. Well, this one it doesn't do that, so it's making a liar out of me. But the needle flames, about six inches of the flame can actually be invisible. And you can damage things while you're trying to work on stuff. I just wanted to do a real quick demo to show you guys uh, what kind of power we get out of 11 amps AC. Can definitely uh, do some micro brazing with this. HHO is really good for micro brazing. Another thing about this tip is it kind of spreads the flame out. That's just eating it alive there. And definitely just eat this copper tube right up. Probably can't get a focus in on that. You get it close. An HHO flame, you gotta get right on that little inner tip. I don't know if you can see that. You're not gonna get that with a regular tip. If I put, I'll put one of these other ones on here and show you what I'm talking about. I'll also show you what we got going on this torch too. I'm not having any foam problems ever since I switched over to the potassium hydroxide. I should have listened to Steve years ago. Delvis or whatever his channel is called, uh, a Green Fuel H2O or something like that. But uh, definitely digging this setup, man. That is a gnarly little flame there. And if you run this with acetone, it's even better. You use an acetone bubbler, which I do have an acetone infuser right over there. That little tripod looking deal. And I bubble acetone, uh, or HHO gas through the acetone. And it gives the uh, HHO more heat. This thing is definitely pretty awesome. Not bad, not bad. That's how I put these out, by the way. I just give them a whip. Now, let's do a quick little comparison. Find a uh, propane torch. One of these days I'm gonna be prepared. There it is. Let's see what we can do here. Let's just do a comparison with the uh, turbo torch. See how long it takes to melt the piece off. Of
be here all day. I know from experience this can't do that. It's all it can do to melt copper. So let's turn this thing back on. And uh, hit it again. See how long it takes me to cut this in half. I need to get a better hose. I'm bound to cut this freaking hose in half. What's gonna happen? So here we go. So I can get you focused in there. Cutting through already. Uh, more powerful than a propane torch for sure. And this stuff you can build with is just incredible. Man, I wish you could see that liquid copper. That is so awesome. You can almost see a reflection in it. I'm going to get a good camera somehow. Oh, that is too cool. But, uh, at any rate, that was 13 amps or about 1300 watts of power. And there you have it. Not quite done with her, but it does work. So uh, just thought I'd show you that little update. We'll get down to the brass tacks here in the next video.